Okay, good morning, Doug with Pink Source again. We're on our cabinet and door finishing project. I'm gonna show real quick how to load up the sprayer. Uh, we're gonna reverse from the cleaning process last night and just gonna show a couple quick tips. We rent these sprayers at the store at Andriot's. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put our pickup tube into our paint, okay? So the paint could be in a five gallon bucket. In this case, we're just gonna use the gallons. Um, and so, and again, apologize for the setup here. We're down in the basement, nothing fancy, like a fancy studio. But I'm gonna get this out of the way. Put my paint right here. Okay, so this is our cabinet coat that we're gonna use on our doors and our cabinets. So we put the pickup tube into the paint. We turn the sprayer on. Okay, now what it's doing now. Okay, now what we're doing now is priming. And so there's some water in the pump. There's also water in the hose. So this is the prime valve. We can pour our pressure back a little bit. So this tube is gonna circulate just through into the pump. And so we wanna just go ahead and have this in an empty five gallon bucket. And we're gonna watch till we see paint. Okay, we see some paint coming out of the primer. So the water's out, we've got paint. We're gonna waste a little bit of paint, but we don't want too much water and paint. So now the prime tube goes into the paint. If there's a little bit of water, it's gonna mix that small amount of water into the bucket. Now, we're gonna leave it on prime, and the reason we do this is so we don't have a lot of pressure at the gun, and we're gonna get rid of the water in the hose. Okay, so now we're spraying, and I take it off of prime. Now it really starts moving the water through, and we're gonna start seeing some paint here. I'm spraying on the side of the bucket. And again, we're going to waste a little paint. You get the paint and water mix. It's going to start coming out. Still water. And now we start seeing paint. Now we got full paint. Okay. Now again, you can see that's a little paint and water. Little paint and water. Now, I don't want to spray this under pressure. So again, to reverse the, take the pressure off the gun, I'm just going to put it on prime again. Okay, again, just circulating the paint, and we can slowly see a little water there. And now I can flip it back over to spray. Now I've got a solid spray there. And mix this water and paint. We don't want much water in, and this is not much. So now we've fully circulated the water out and everything. And that's how you set up. Now, we'll go ahead and put our tip on. Now we talked yesterday about the tip size. We're gonna use a nine thousandths for the cabinet doors. That's gonna give us a little smaller spray. On the large doors, we're gonna go to our 15 thousandths. Uh, you can use anything from an 11, 13, or a 15 on your doors. If you've not experienced a lot of spraying, you're probably gonna to wanna to stay with a smaller tip. I'm doing the 15 just for production. I can spray faster, but I'm gonna to have to move faster. And also it's gonna be easier to get runs and things if I get too heavy. Now we're gonna set the pressure on the gun. And so how we do that is we just look at the pattern that comes out. Now you see this little line right here. That means we don't have enough pressure. So I'm gonna just bump it up about what I call five minutes, like a clock bump just a little and again still have a line still have that little side line so I need a little more pressure we don't want to go any further than we need to still have that line okay so one more little bump okay Still get a line, a little more pressure, all right? There we go. All right, so our pressure's set, and we're gonna start spraying.
Now we've set this up so I can walk my hose back. I don't want to be spraying from one end to the other dragging my hose. So we've got a setup here where I can just kind of spray these. Now we're spraying the back side here so these are laying flat on the ground. Um, you can set these on saw horses, blocks of wood, but because we're going to spray the tops, let them dry for a little bit, then we can flip them over and spray the front. So we just simply, just a nice long even pass. And what you want to try to be careful of, especially like I want to spray this top, but I've already put a lot of paint on there. So I want to kind of be careful about getting too much double passing. Okay. And what I mean by that is just, and you control how much paint you're putting on by the speed of the gun. So if I go real fast, that's not enough paint. So I slow my pace down, spray my edges. You want to angle to get these sides here and then fill in the middle, okay? It's a little close to our stuff. Okay. This will make quick business. If we were doing this by hand, and I know we've got a lot of setup down here, you can see we've got everything laid out. We had to cover the floors, but even these doors, an average of an hour a door, if you paint them by hand, you can see how quick we do this. So anytime you take to set up, it's a wash in your overall time. So it's worth the time to set up because it's gonna save you time, but it's also gonna give you a perfect factory looking finish and again this cabinet coat is a nice hard acrylic enamel we might use the advance from benjamin moore we might use command the one thing about command though it dries pretty quick so unless you're spraying i'm going to use either cabinet coat or advance for manual application, like if we were rolling and brushing, okay? Cabinet coat dries in about three hours. If we wanted to put a second coat on these insides, we'll just take a look at them. I'm not trying to get real hard on the edges. I'm kind of only getting like three quarters around, but when we flip it, we'll do the same thing and we'll get that other edge. Now, the other thing about spraying edges you want to be careful like I don't want to blow a bunch of paint dry paint on this and I won't blow a bunch of paint on the other doors so you want to be kind of organized about where your spray is going and that's why we laid these out so if I get a little paint on that one when I'm spraying this one I'm right wet into it so no big deal and there's how many doors we just did in three or four minutes okay again we'll just continue along and again these sprayers are for rent uh, at the store about fifty dollars a day uh, we have some multiple day rentals weekend rental and so if you're renting our sprayer We've got a couple other videos that show in detail. Um, I'm going to go ahead while I've got my small tip in and finish some of this furniture. And so again, and we'll go inside here just a little bit. Okay. Front. Sides. Now each pass, I want a half overlap and you see here's the edge of my spray I want the middle of the gun there so we half overlap each pass okay and now the top now I'm going to slow down a little bit put a little heavier coat on this top and again you see my half overlap hope you can see that we don't have a lot of light here mainly just showing the technique and we'll second coat these after a while again hitting the Inside, 
sides. I already painted that. See, I'm talking and not focusing. And now the top. And I'm going to cut here and then we'll show you a couple more pieces of furniture. Doug with Andriots. Better ways to paint.